Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the new K2 World Peace. This board features K2's combination camber, which is basically 95% camber with a small little rocker zone at the tip and the tail. This is just gonna make it a little bit easier to load the board up out there, but you're still gonna retain that snap, pop, and drive of traditional camber. This board is available in 148, 151, 154, 157, 152 wide, 155 wide, 158 wide. I rode this board at Arapahoe Basa on a sunny bluebird day with warm temps, there was Soft, creamy snow, soupy, lumpy, mashed potato snow, slush, ice, chunder, you know, spring conditions. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board comes in below a middle of the road park flex, but it's slightly above a full-blown jib noodle. Basically, it's a jib board with a little bit more snap to it. So you do have softer tips and then a stiffer midsection with a lot of torsional flex. Now the idea of stability, probably pretty much thrown out the window. You're gonna get flap at high speeds that's gonna resonate back underfoot. And when you get into lumpy, chundery terrain, you're gonna get knocked around. You're going to feel everything. Your knees and ankles will take abuse from this board. It's soft, in case you haven't got that, and it's not the most stable. With the softer flex of this board, and it being basically 95% camber, the nice thing is you don't have to load it up to get it to pop. It basically feels like you're already loaded up. So with that said, what you put in is about what you get out of it. It's not the snappiest deck out there, it's not the softest. At the end of the day, if you wanna pop, you'll be able to pop when you load up and roll back off the tail it will engage. Are you gonna be like, wow, it's boosting me to the moon? No, are you gonna be like, well, that got the job done? Yes, that's it. Now, unfortunately this year, just due to the pandemic and shit, there weren't any postseason jumps at A-Basin. So I had to make do with hitting a bunch of different side hits consistently to see how this board would react. At the end of the day, it's a soft flexing board. Small to medium features are really gonna be its strong suit. It will pop off of the lip, you know, it's pretty much camber dominant, but it's not what it's going to be made for. It's made for jibbing and buttering and playing around and keeping it low to the ground. The nice thing about buttering on this board is right where the camber ends, you got that small little rocker section in the nose and the tail, and you can just press into it. It'll hold, it doesn't fight you. You can swivel and sizzle with this thing, get sideways, do just about any variation. Can you overpower it? Yeah, if you really try to manhandle it, but the nice thing is it's relatively easy to butter on. Now, when it comes to jibbing, this board excels at it. It locks into presses. You just feel secure the second you land on your tail or nose. It's gonna hold that press, but still give you a little bit of rebound to pop out of it when you need to. And when you get sideways, it doesn't clap out, but it really aggressively cradles the feature. It wraps right around it. You feel it just hug the feature and slide. But once again, it still retains a little bit of pop to get you out of it. Overall, it's a great butter and jibbing board. So when it comes to carving, this isn't this board's strong suit. It's fluid in how it rolls from edge to edge. You notice that transmission, but when you do get it up on edge, you never feel fully locked down. It lacks that bite out at the contact points due to that micro rocker. So it feels a little bit loose. You notice that when you're on edge, it speeds. It just doesn't have that grip that you would want. It gets a little chattery and that's okay, because that's not what this board's designed for. It's good for short, quick setup carves or really mellow carves. Anything more, you're going to put this board to the limits, and it's not going to be able to do what you want. You try to lay it over, that tail's going to wash out. It just doesn't have the power that you actually need. But then again, as I already stated, that's not what this board is for. So if you're just looking for something that can kind of set up a turn for you and you can be on edge if you absolutely need to but not feel locked in, then you're good. But if you're looking for something that's gonna be solid for railing a turn in the park, you need to look at another board, like maybe bump up to the medium from K2 instead. Who's this board for? The slightly loose, surfy freestyle guy. So this board's loose when it's on edge, and that's fine. For what it is, it works. I don't have a problem with that looseness because you get that playfulness with it 
that makes it be a little more skate-like with how you approach features, how you do your ground tricks and whatnot. It's not a bad board, but you know, there are more boards out there that are a little more aggressive, a little more calculated with how you ride them. You can be laid back and forgiving with this board. You don't have to bring your A game, your B game, or even your C game when you're riding it. Comparable boards, the Battalion Global Warmer, the Rome Gangplank, the Arbor Draft, Binding Recommendations, the K2 Indy, the Burton Mission, the Union Contact Pro. This has been my review of the K2 World Peace. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not going to miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.